Hi everyone, this is Carolina from 30 Minute Crafts and I'm here today to do another fun crafty hangout. Today I'm crafting with duct tape. That's right, the duck brand sent me all different kinds of really fun holiday duct tape with their new fun, oh let's put that right side up, Christmas tree print, green, red, silver, um, even duck glitter, which if you've never crafted with duck glitter, you really need to. And what I'm making with this duct tape today is a stocking. It's a little fun stocking that I made, and yep, it can be used just like a regular stocking. It can be hung up on the mantle, just a regular traditional stocking, but made out of duct tape. Super easy to make. We're going to go ahead and get started. Let me scoot you back so you can see my work surface. Here we go. And we'll start crafting. I start with this is a... Um, two to a sheet stocking template that I have um, on 30 minute crafts. You just go to 30 minute crafts and in the search box type in stocking template and it'll come right up. I have them in several sizes, two to a sheet, eight to a sheet, a whole bunch to a sheet, or just one that fills up the whole page. So you can use whichever size you like depending on the size stocking you want. I'm gonna use red duct tape and just cover the back. If you are a duct tape purist and you don't want any paper in your stocking because this paper is going to stay in between the layers of duct tape, then you can absolutely make your own sheet of duct tape by on a self-healing mat like this. Put strips of duct tape a little bit overlapping, peel it up, flip them over, put strips of duct tape the other direction and then use this as a template to cut out your duct tape sheet or you could use actual sheets of duct tape which you can find in craft stores put two back to back and make your stocking out of solid duct tape that way but especially for a newer duct tape crafter I think this is a lot easier um, plus you won't see any of the paper on the finished craft and it makes putting the two layers together a lot easier in a future step. So you'll take it, you'll cover it one side with duct tape like this, and then using the pattern on the back, you're just gonna, with scissors, cut this out. I've got one already cut out, so you don't need to watch me cut. Hey. And I'm just going to Cover the back just edge to edge with duct tape. I'm working on a self-healing mat. You can find that in the sewing department of any craft store. And I find that duct tape peels really well off of this, as long as you don't leave it on there for hours and hours. If you just leave it on for a couple minutes, it peels off really well. And we'll keep going. Now you'll see I miss a little spot right here on my stocking. And that's not a huge deal. I'll just cut off an extra piece and just cover that up. And it'll barely be noticeable on the finished stocking. So I'll peel this right up. And this time, instead of cutting right to the edge, because I have one that is duct tape front and back that I've cut right to the edge, this one I'll cut right to the edge along the top. But then. I'm going to cut about a quarter inch, it doesn't have to be perfect, but about a quarter inch away all the way around. And just kind of follow the curve. This does not have to be perfect. Like here it's a little bit less, not a big deal. And these scissors are great. These are uh, Fiskars made special duct tape scissors. And you can see that if the duct tape sticks a little awkwardly to it, it, I can peel it right off. I've used these for tons of projects and I've never had to clean the blades. And you'll see it says Fiskars Duck Edition right on there. <clears throat> so they're perfect for duct tape crafts or really any tape sticky type crafts. Then in all my curved spots here, I'm just cutting a little slit 
right up to the edge. If you cut through, not a big deal. Just try to cut about a quarter inch all the way around. A little more, a little less, not a big deal. You don't want to go a full half inch because it will make your curved edges not look as smooth on your finished stocking. So just clip and clip and clip and all the way around. Lots of curves on a stocking. Keep cutting. There we go. Now I've cut all the way around. I'm going to take the second piece that I've already made that has duct tape front and back. Lay it right on top. Try to match as best as I can. And then I'm going to fold in these pieces. You can be a big perfectionist here. I choose not to. For me, duct tape crafts are just fun. So I'm not going to stress about every little detail. There we go. Keep just peeling these around. And this where you, you'll, you'll be able to see the seam a little bit. This is going to be the back of my stocking, so I'm not too worried about how much that shows or if there's any bumps or bruises or whatnot. <clears throat> and this will be the front. I have a little bit overlapping up here, so I'm just going to cut that off. And now it's time to make the cuff of the stocking. <clears throat> you can use whatever you like. I, for my original stocking, I used silver duct tape and then I used the glitter here for the M. I think I'm going to use the glitter this time for my cuff. So I'm going to start on the back. And once I find the edge of, here we go, the edge of my tape. <clears throat> going to start I'm just taping it right up to the edge I don't want any of the red to show but I don't really want it to overlap either flip it over now important I'm not folding it with the angle on this top of the stocking here I'm just keeping this straight line and that way the cuff comes down a little bit Can trim the back. It'll overlap a little bit. I've got a cute glittery cuff. Now, if I want to make a letter, which I did on this stocking, I freehand my letters. So this is going to be an M for Mom. Got another easy letter in my family, and that's an L. So we'll go ahead and make an L stocking. There's also a B, and at some point I'll have to make a D for Dad. So those will be a little trickier. But it's just as easy as cutting out an L and putting it right on the stocking. And, of course, I want a loop to hang it by. I'll use the regular silver duct tape for this. Just find my end. Cut off a strip, and I'm going to fold it in thirds. So sticky side up, fold it oh, in thirds or a little bit more, and then bring this edge all the way over, stick it down, and I'll have to stick it to the inside of the stocking. I'm actually going to use the red to stick it to the inside of the stocking. So it doesn't show up as much because the inside of my stocking is already red. Just cut off a piece. Form my loop. I want to make sure that when I attach this tape, I'm attaching it to a piece on this side and some of the back piece. So I want to make sure some of my back piece is showing so it gets some tape on there. And then I can insert this. Just inside. It's got a little tape showing, so I'll just trim that off. And my stocking is complete. 
So I'll bring you back so we can chat just a little more as we wrap up. There you are. Hi there. So this is the stocking that we made today. Super fast and easy. Um, super fun to make with duct tape. So also super inexpensive. Just duct tape and a piece of paper printed out. You can see more fun duct tape uh, Christmas crafts on Crafty Hangouts all week long. Just go to craftyhangouts.com. Or you can also see some more fun, quick and easy holiday crafts on my site, 30minutecrafts.com. I hope you. I hope we'll see you soon. Have a great holiday. Bye, guys.